So we were asked, what are our research questions and what are our hypotheses? So our research questions are, which phytoplankton are here? When are they here? And how do melting glaciers that you see all this ice around surrounding us, how is that influencing the types of phytoplankton we see, the species we see, the sizes of phytoplankton we see, and during the season when the sunlight returns from um, October-ish on the peninsula here, all the way from spring to midsummer, which is January, um, December, January um, into fall, which is March now, we're March 15th here. Um, we're getting towards the winter season. Um, the sun sets around 6.37 p.m. and then rises again around 7, 6.37 a.m. Um, so all of the phytoplankton are starting to get ready for winter and we want to know how that seasonal progression uh, of phytoplankton changes during the year, but then we can compare year after year after year and see if there's any relationship between the types of phytoplankton and sizes and the fresh water that comes from these melting glaciers. But one of um, the hypotheses that exists in the literature amongst researchers who are interested in phytoplankton is um, when you see fresher water, you see smaller phytoplankton. Now, one of the things we don't know for sure is if that's a true relationship. Um, and we're not sure if fresher water is a mechanism for why we're seeing different species over another. One of the issues with um, answering this question is that there's no real good baseline data information. So there haven't been a lot of studies that monitor seasonal changes within the season at all of these different locations year after year after year. And all these different sampling methods might only focus on certain groups. So we're not actually sure what the whole community was. Um, so it's hard to say whether or not that's a definite um, relationship that exists. So one of our hypotheses um, is that the meltwater coming into the ecosystem will influence the sizes shifting towards smaller phytoplankton and um, not favoring the big lipid rich diatoms that krill need. And um, we're testing that uh, by sampling with different vessels um, that come to these locations. Every time a vessel comes from November through March, they take samples of phytoplankton from the water, they measure salinity temperature and what the fresh water is from, if it's from glaciers using oxygen isotopes. And that's how we're kind of trying to test this hypothesis. So stay tuned when we finish our PhDs, we will have the final results of that.